Okay, hi guys. I'm sorry for the the lateness. I'm a little late. Hi. I always kind of joke that Eric knows when I say I'll be home at 8. He knows that. Oh, hold on. The one missing baby. I got to put him away. Okay. <laughs> I've got the remainder missing baby. Hold on. I know you want to be back in. There you go. Go get your siblings. Okay. All babies are away at this point. Okay. Okay. Hi. Okay. Yeah, just a little quick updates um, because we do have some changes for tomorrow. So I wanted to go through with you guys and let you know some of our changes that we're doing. Girl. I have a spot on my shirt. Anyways. Hi, Ting. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Min. Hi, Terry. Hi, uh, Adrian, Ethel, Mary, Billy. Hi, guys. Yeah, so we do have a quick little update for tomorrow because we did have some changes in place, and it has been a bit of a crazy. Hi, Dark. Hi, Jim. It's been a bit of a crazy day. Um, one, we did go ahead and shave um, Cosmo. So that was my first, like, full-on cat shave. That's fun not so much I, I'm terribly not a groomer sorry see now I'm, I'm addicted to this light now one two three here we go see isn't that better yeah um so uh we did shave Cosmo which Lynette's a master of shaving down a cat I'm not I haven't done I've done a few like hind end trimmies but um, oh, yeah. nothing that's been great. But we decided after Lynette multiple attempts to brush and all that stuff, it just it, it, the best thing to do is to start start fresh. So we do have his little lion mane, and he's got some some uh, feet and stuff like that. But and a little bit part of his tail. But he's um, baby Lynette is amazing with ears and shaving. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep. So. His mats were just so very, very bad. It was just, oh, thanks, Ting. Um, his mats were so very bad. It was just the best thing to do, completely start from scratch with him. They were down to the, the skin. So we really had to shave him up. So he feels a little weird now. He's like, oh, I haven't yeah. felt my skin and I don't know how long. So he's he feels a little weird, but he looks cute as a button, even despite my horrible shave job. Mm -hmm. I would bring him up to show you, but um, it was awful. <laughs> Sweet Lynette's like, I, you know, I'm like, oh, I'd like to try it. I've never done that. So, um, so I shaved him down to try to get the mats, mats off. And after I was done, I was like, ta-da. And Lynette is so wonderful. She's like, hmm, it looks great. And I'm like, and she kept looking at me like this weird way. So I'm like, here's the razor. And she's like, thank you. So she went in and cleaned him up. He's not so much mad. No, I think he's hungry now, so he doesn't really care what's happening as long as he gets food. So, <laughs> so yeah, so they are painful for kitties. And when they have mats like this, it is so, I mean, his were just, I can't even think of a, it, it was almost like shaving a sheep. You know, it was so, oh, I should take a picture. I will go take a picture that's a good idea but then you'll laugh at my shaving job was terrible on him but he's better and we got all the mats out all of them so that was that was good yeah that he just had man it was it was interesting to get the shears through so we got that so the big news though is tomorrow so tomorrow we had to do a little change up because Darcy had it on the plans for Kiara's paw surgery and um you know she's she's in the office and working but she's out of commission because she recently had a hand surgery so one of the other doctors was doing it someone needs like an emergency surgery so they had to take that spot which I understand and Kiara is fine so I mean she can she can wait it's, it's, she's not in pain she's not um, you know nothing's damaging for her to wait another week or two so 
what they are doing is tomorrow we are going to send up um, either um, Chagall or Hadley. I haven't decided it's really going to be the first one that I can toss in a pen. Um, we're going to send up either Chagall or Hadley in preparation for their adoption. They're going to the same home. So we're going to send up them. Then she got us dates for February 9th to do one more spay and um, Kiara's paw. So, uh oh, I think it's doing that weird jittery. I don't know if it looks jittery on your end, but I see it jittery on mine. Isn't it you and your kitten? Yeah, maybe. But look. It was doing it earlier. <clears throat> oh, I think it's back. Oh, our computer masters are wonderful. Okay, but the sound was good. Okay, well, that's good to know, but I think I think we've got it fixed. Um, so, we are going to send up tomorrow either Chagall or Hadley, and we're also getting Egypt in for an x-ray and, um, and like an evaluation. So, okay, she's going. Yes, so Ketch is still going to be on the 8th for his eye removal. And then on the 9th, we are going to be doing Kiara's paw and um, one other female. So, so yeah, tomorrow we'll, um, we'll find out a little bit more on Egypt. We've discussed this quite in depth with Darcy. Um, you know, I think just so you all are prepared and, and I'm prepared and I kind of knew this was going to be happening. Um, I, I think we are going to be looking at a, an amputation for him. So we've talked about the various options for that today. And, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that some by some miracle tomorrow she does an x-ray and she's like, you know, it's just a, I don't know, ingrown nail or something, I, you know, something minor. Um, but but we truly believe in our heart it's probably not going to be so we'll we'll be we'll be prepping for that it's definitely not the the most thing I know uh, I agree Tang it, it breaks my heart um, but we discussed all the other options of you know what could what could happen what this could be um, things like that and I mean the fact of the matter is is he's in pain and we cannot have that so you know it, he's not He's not living his happy, um, his happy life right now. So, um, it, thank you guys. I, I hate this. I really do. I hate it. Um, and, and like I said, you know, who knows things, maybe something will change tomorrow and she'll see and it's not as bad as we thought and just looked bad or something. I don't know, but, um, but we are, we are anticipating that this will, this will happen. Not tomorrow. It will not happen tomorrow. Um, you know, we'll set a future date up for that. So, my sweet baby. I just, I can't have him in pain. I mean, that's just no. Uh, and and God, God bless my my sweet mods who are updating their calendars right now as, as we're, we're talking. Um, thank you, Mom. Thank you, Dark. So, they are not Kathleen. Mm -mm. No, he's on some pretty good pain. Uh, Kathleen was asking if, if pain meds were helping. I would say they're they're helping. I'm sure they're helping, and uh, but he he definitely he's he's in pain, you know. So uh, he's not moving terribly much, not acting like his normal self. Um, but seeing him the last week or two since he has been hurting. It has given me a little bit of hope that um, he's very strong in his uh, in his upper body strength. Um, so that gives me hope that he can, you know, I'm confident he can su survive this and, and end up being like magic. So I'm sad for my little boy. <laughs> Thank you, Dark. <laughs> Poor, poor Dark was left on the complete like precipice of what was happening and to update her calendar that she she posts out and and same with the, all the mods you know so um 
they they do keep changing and unfortunately i'm finding and maybe this is just a common thing for rescue work but i'm finding things change and change fast so then you have to hurry up and you know just like anything you know statistically one of our cats will be sick at some time and we'll have to work up a scenario then so so he so he most likely will be like magic thank you dark um yeah i think i think he'll do really good though as far as he's got spirit he's um he's active he's playful he's he's overall happy minus the pain um so as far as his tail the tail's a really tricky thing, especially when you go in and do surgery. Um, when you do surgery that close to nerves and things like that um, on the back side, um, it can really, it can damage the nerve. So we are unsure at this point. Let it, let it out. Better out than in. That's okay. Um, we're unsure right now if he's going to end up keeping his tail or not. Part of us wants to try to keep his tail. It might maybe help with, um, some stability and things like that. The other part of us wants to just remove it right now because having his tail is going to increase likelihoods of infection, him going potty and dragging his back end through it. We, we've had already, you know, three experiences that I know of already where um, Trucker, Magic, Coralie, where it was best where the tail was removed because it was getting, I remember Magic. I remember Magic having a tail and it would get chronically infected. Trucker trailed. Yeah, and, and Trucker too. So, I know. I know, but I was telling him today that he is so handsome um, even with or without his tail, it's his little face and personality and he's perfect. So Can I'm we very... try for a little bit before they take me out? Well, and, and that's, I think it's going to be one of those things that Darcy's going to see when she gets in there. Can I help you? My hand clenched. Oh, um, when she gets in there, if, if he does keep it up, we'll have to keep the, the base of his tail very shaved. You know, no, that's not a big deal. No, no, I, mean, I just, but then I'm on the flip like side, balance because right, he's but bigger on the flip side, then I'm like, I don't want him to have to go through a fourth well, surgery. surgery, yeah, you know. So, I, I trust Dr. Darcy with absolutely everything that I have. Um, and I know that she is just she, she and I have the same feeling of, of we'll, we'll try everything so. Um, whatever she decides to do in the moment, I, I will go with completely because she is the vet and she is definitely experienced. So he does have my love and he'll be out of pain and that's the big thing. And he'll still has, have his adorable tufts in his ears. So, so that was a, a little bit of a bummer, but I think it's something that um, both Darcy and I have kind of known and wondered if this would happen at some point because, you know, his, his back legs were so broken, even removing the worst broken back leg. He's still left with a broken back leg that's healed. Yeah. But you know, it's not, it's not good, you know, not healed very good. So hi, scary Max. All right, let's try it. So he will still be my love bugs. He will still do boxes. Um, Sarah, I have actually already planned out um, oh. uh, an option. If, if this has to be the case, I still planned out, like, I thought of everything as far as if he has to have his back legs removed. Um, I will literally have a ramp made so he can get oh. up onto the counter to, uh, oh. I have you, that ramp. You do. And it's got guardrails on both sides or one side. Oh. Oh, he could get the ramp from Auntie Debbie to climb up so he could do nice his boxes. Nice carpeting. Oh, wood. ooh, rich mahogany. He only requires and fine the best. Corinthian leather. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, so. it's, you can put one or two sides up. Oh. And it's got one on the end to, so he doesn't go off. Oh, wonderful. Oh, <laughs> he's like, you don't even have to help me. I'm, I'm good. Look at your face. Oh my. Oh, I see foods all over the place yeah pretty much so and he will still always be my boy 
Um, I missed a question. Something about Dr. Darcy in surgery. Will Dr. Darcy do the surgery? I think um, we don't know. It depends. I, I, you know, ideally we'd like to try to get him in as soon as possible so he's out of pain. I think I'm able to control a bulk of his pain right now. So, but I, I think if we can get him in, it will be semi shortly. And if that's the case, it will be done by someone other than Dr. Darcy, but Dr. Darcy will be there. So she is wonderful. Um, Good job tonight. Um, yeah, is amazing as well. We've actually, <laughs> yeah, no doctor, no tonight. He is, he is into food. You know, I was chuckling, you know, um, I do get a lot of comments where people think that, um, especially Lucy and Ramsey don't get enough food. And I, I was laughing because just observing a little bit today, just a, like a tiny bit today. And I don't even have the exact figures. They have been fed wet food five times today. He has been fed wet food five times today. Look at the face. Look at him. He's got whiskery whiskers. And you've got smudge in your eye. Yeah. This three whiskeries and smudgery in there. Hey, Jabber and Jem, is Lucy out there? Did you see Lucy got sorrow and Zeus? Lucy Sidney? Who no, I didn't. Oh, I'm the white babies. Aww. They're beautiful. Yeah, he is hungry tonight. Mm -hmm. Is you hungry, huh? Yep. Um, yeah, Dr. P is awesome. And actually, I know Dr. Darcy um, checks with him a lot, too, on his expertise because it's been amazing. Um I know, you know, I was kind of chuckling because I'm like, gosh, you know, I want to make sure that they are getting fed. The downside with them is they do need those few extra feedings, especially because like my cat at home, he gets fed, fed wet food once a day, you know, but they I, move I'm, so much. yeah, so they move so much, but yeah. <laughs> would you like to finish that up? Sometimes I have people that would be, is occasionally worried when, when he's a doctor now. And I'm like, you guys, I promise he ate like four other times today. Plus kibble and snackies. Okay. I don't think so. Open it up and see. Um, yeah, Dr. P is amazing too. So I know he might be there as well. I miss Rocky. I know. I love Rocky. And Combuland. I'm so glad. Who is this? Can you go check that, Debbie? Can you hear that? Mm -hmm. No, it's not that. The baby? Well, Chomper's talking, but it sounded more kind of muffled like it would be a baby. But they all seem occupied. This girl. I'm sorry. Um, oh yeah, Alma's been like up and about and, um, <laughs> they are, they, they're pretty spoiled, Julie, you're right, but it's good. That's what we do. Um, Cindy's going to be taking him to the vet tomorrow and it will be in the morning. So she's going to leave about seven. Thank you, Scary Max. Thank you. Oh my goodness. We hear that a lot that the cats are not being fed enough. You're right. I hear that a lot. I'm really surprised. And I promise you guys, um, they eat. And you can't see, but I bet you. Oh, my. What is going on? They are just horsing around. They are just having a, a ball running. Um, I think so, too, Dutchie. Ex yeah, see all the FFRC bellies except my little otter who can't seem to eat enough. It's like all, he's like a bottomless pit. Um, <laughs> Linda, I agree. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, yeah, so, and then someone asked about KMV. Um, you know, she's feeling really, really good. I don't want to like, you know, I don't want to speak out of turn and, and say she's cured and everything's fine and she'll be healed and all that stuff but she's doing very very well she really is thank you love the animals yeah they they get fed 
And what you can't see is, um, well, one, we have lots of other rooms, and every room has multiple dry food bowls. Huge dry food bowls. <laughs> Ting, you're right. They get fed a lot. A lot, a lot. Actually, we have, we're having to cut down the, the babies, the baby babies wet food because they were getting a little loosey-goosey, if you know what I mean. So we're going to cut down their wet food just a smidge to calm down on their, their looseiness. But not, not you, Lucy. Not that Lucy. Another type of Lucy. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't think they're going to starve. I'm pretty, I was joking the other day. Um, I'm pretty confident we could disappear for three whole days and the cats would be fine. <laughs> so they're funny so okay I think that's all the updates for tonight um man Nancy I Candy is really I don't want to be too hopeful but I'm a little hopeful that maybe we might have found a right combo for her at least you know at least for a time until things change um so it's I'm starting to I'm starting to very slowly back off her pain meds, so we'll see how that goes. She seems comfy. She does, and today was the first day of me backing off her pain meds, so we'll see how we go. And in case you all didn't hear, um, Catch is officially over two pounds now. So, he's a very big boy. And I got his eye scab off last night, and it was amazing. Oh, she loves Brandon. She is doing better. I, I'm, I'm just taking it day by day, but I'm, I'm excited that she's, she's improving. Yes, and catch. He's this big, huge. Like someone picked him up today, and he's got this. Oh, it was Jackie. Jackie picked him up, and he has got this big tummy, and it's just, it's huge. It's like this big old tummy that. Oh, pictures of what? Of who? Polydactyl. Are you? Do you mean catch? Oh, he's for potion. Did you tell Dak? I did, actually, Dutchie. I sent her pictures and um, pictures of the scab, too. <laughs> I said, I feel like the only person that can truly appreciate this is you. And she's like, oh, I love it. I love it. She's like, you're going to find that he's going to start getting another scab, and then you'll need to work on that. So, Oh, Murph pictures. Murph is so handsome. Yeah, Ethel, I don't think Debbie liked it as much. Debbie, did you like being called out to show you Catch's what? eye? Catch's eye and scab? Were I you so excited? <laughs> well, I thought you were going to hit me with a pie. No, no. Catch and Cosmo. Catch and Cosmo. Okay. All right. Well, I'll go, I'll go run and take some pictures real quick and show you guys Catch and Cosmo. They're doing... They're both doing really, really good. So give me one second. And Cosmo, you want to see his little poor nakiness? Wonder if I could bring him up. I bet I could. So Cosmo. Um, you know, you're more familiar with him than I am. Alright, well, one of you is going away anyway, so. Can you show everybody how cute she is? Okay, this is my first shave job, so. We kept his lion mane. Oh, no, you can't. No, you're not ready to get down yet. <laughs> Come here, Mr. Man. And then we had to give him a bath. He was there.
Lynette, believe it or not, this is Lynette getting him cleaned up after my shave job. Not too bad. <laughs> He's like, he's like, don't look at me. Don't look at me. I'm hideous. She did a terrible. This is Cosmo. So he's had a rough day, so I probably won't keep him out here terribly long. And he feels weird. He's like, he's like, I don't like how I feel. Okay. All right. I'm putting you back. He's like, I don't like how I feel. I feel weird. He's been licking a lot. Well, yeah. Yeah. He's like, where'd all my beautiful fur go? Whoever's going up tomorrow, like one of them, I think. Oh. Like one's going to oh. have to have no food, right? Egypt disappeared. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Where did he go? Right, we got to put one of them away for no food. Yes. Yeah, his and then, plate, he, that plate was pretty full. It, it looks like you put in a completely brand new empty plate. God bless him. Catchy. Oh, Hensley. Oh, no, hen no, Hensley, I, Egypt, he, he doesn't want to play. I know you think you're, okay, you're fine. is he, he probably, look, he's like, see my thumbs? He's like, I can knit, knit blankets and crochet with all my thumbs. Um, he can work. He can make bread. Um, it's very helpful. He can actually do high fives. He can do high fives. This is why you want this cat. Because he's pretty amazing. Because he's got thumbs. What's that? What's that? Yeah, he's helpful. He can help you do dishes. I don't do dishes. See, you want a cat that can do dishes? Yeah, his eye does look better. I know it looks still ucky, but um, it's much smaller since I got that scab off. I was, I'm telling you what, getting that scab off, I, I felt like I was as happy as if someone would have sent in a million dollar donation. I was that happy. I'm like, that's pretty sad. <laughs> I know. He is bigger. You can't see, but there's a big boop, boop. He's so playful. His favorite thing is the turbo wheel, which is really cute because he was spinning the balls around and then he decided the other days it would the other day it would be fun if the ball stayed stationary and he spun around the turbo wheel. It was so funny. Oh really Terry? Oh neat. Oh he loves toys. What is that? Oh, it's stuck to your paw now. He's like the downside to having extra mittens. Look up here, Catchy. I know, soon he'll be the biggest cat. 
Because it is, he's very like buff. It's like a, a buff color in white. Hey, buddy. Look at this up here. You gotta look up here. Oh, yes. Oh, he is such a happy boy. He's like, so he's actually past the point where he's on, um, he's not on any pain meds anymore. We got him through uh, the first several days and uh, he, he's doing just amazing. So he, he will be, uh, of course, as soon as he gets back, but it doesn't hurt him. He lets me clean it. He doesn't fuss. He, it's like he feels better. I know. <laughs> Isn't he handsome? You're a purr too, huh? He's like, my eyes broke, but my purr is not. Your purr machine's not. What is it? He's like looking like, ooh, that might be a... Oh, you guys are very kind. So, look at that. Look at that tummy. It's huge. No, you can't go that way. No. <laughs> hey. Who? Oh, they're playing. Oh, um, Debbie, mm -hmm. will you go stop them, please? Okay. Um, yeah. Hmm. So sweet. Come here, guys. Come. Mm. Oh, you're very, very nice. <coughs> oh, you guys, you guys are so sweet. Thank you. I'm happy we can help. Panya, do you need to have a complaint with the management? Yeah. What's oh, that, Kenny? Hmm. <laughs> Uh, are any of the boys going soon? Uh, we don't know yet. Uh, the boys are, it's such a very simple surgery. Um, so she's just going to try to squeeze them in whenever she possibly can. So we're, we're trying. She, she had a date in mind that she could squeeze them in, but Lynette and I will be gone at our veterinary conference. So, oh yeah, I'm, I completely agree. I mean, it's, it's you guys that make this rescue go. I mean, we, we can take catch in because of you guys. So, yes, we will have box day tomorrow. Box day. What do you think, catch? Hmm? What do you think, catch? He is like ready to, uh, the, the eye will be removed. I'm, I'm very confident in that. It's, it's damaged beyond repair. Um, it came in it came in like that so we're just we're doing just you know uh band-aid treatments to to get him big enough to go to surgery which i finally is i'm finally big enough huh oh oh i think he will be he's not like that stinking otter who is like love me love me love me bite that little stinker he's so in trouble he bit denise today he was like, love me, love me, love me, and then bit her on, I think, her ear. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. Otters, Denise told me, yeah. Otter's in a bitey stage now. Yes. And he's like, <laughs> he was like, love, 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 bite. Oh, you're welcome, guys. Yeah, he had to grow first, but he's growing really big. Let me see. Can I see you this way, buddy? You know, it's funny because he is, um, let me just, can I, can I hold you like this for, no. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying to show them your tummy. There. <laughs> there, can you show them your tummy? Okay, 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 okay. <sighs> I know. He's Mr. Biterson. <laughs> and it's funny because you hold him and he's so sweet. He's like, purr, 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 I'm the cutest little thing. And then he's like, let's play and bite. I'm like, mm -hmm. I had to like do like boop on his nose the other day. And it was like the slightest little boop. But I was like, Otter, no. And then he was like, what? Bite more? And I'm like, ugh. Like, you little rascal. 
Yeah, I, he is getting enough of I was like, you guys, we've got to pack it on this kitty. Because I'm like, I've already got his appointment. He cannot miss it. He will get it done. So, All right, let's go take your thumbs and go get you a job. What do you think? Your whiskers are like, there we go. All right. Yeah, Otter is a little rascal. Yeah, I, I'm trying to, like, as soon as he's starting to nibble, I'm, like, shoving something at him to have him play with. No, bite this toy. Bite this toy. Not faces. But he kept doing it so much the other day. I was like, okay, we have to, like, boop. And he's so little. <laughs> I was like, boop. Oh, Pania. Okay. Well, I'm going to go put Catch down. Okay. And maybe give you a little bit of food because Debbie didn't give you anything, just an empty plate. You should see the plate. I mean, you could put it on a shelf. I promise. Good for him. I mean, there was a lot. Because I questioned whether or not to put that much out for him at once. <laughs> I know. I know. Oh, look. Maybe this is a good shot. Oh, look at that. Right there. Where are you headed? Boop, boop. boop. <laughs> yes. That's exactly what he does, Mary. He's like, oh, I'm the sweetest little otter. Look at me. I'm such a cute little boy. And then he's like, love, love, love. Bite. And then he looks at you with these little eyes. I'm like, mm, you're naughty, but cute. All right, littles. Ready? Is you ready? You ready? I love you. All right. All right. We're going to put little catch back. No, you can't. No, no, we can't get down with the big kitty. You can go out for a minute. <laughs> no. Okay. He's like, oh, here I'm down with this big kitty. Now, 